Dear children, listen carefully to my words, for an urgent warning comes directly from heaven. The world is facing times of great tribulation and uncertainty, and I, your heavenly mother, come to you with a message of hope and admonition. The conflict between Israel and Palestine, and the judicial issues involving Donald Trump, are signs of the times and calls for reflection and prayer. Greetings beloved brothers and sisters. Today, in sacred history, we will share an urgent and powerful message that the Virgin Mary wanted to convey in these difficult times. This message concerns the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the recent judicial issues of Donald Trump, and I hope it can deeply touch your hearts and guide you towards the divine light. Know that these sacred words were spoken exactly at this same period last year and we understand that their significant teachings still resonate today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Holy Spirit that we may be renewed and experience the transformation of the earth. O God, who by the light of your Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us true wisdom and the eternal joy of your consolations, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now let's immerse ourselves in the message of Our Lady. I express my gratitude for your response to my divine call, beloved ones. I feel the sadness and isolation that envelop your hearts in the face of the world's challenges and tribulations. Beloved children, my heart breaks to see the suffering that befalls the refugee camps in the Middle East. Recent attacks have devastated these areas, bringing death and destruction. The burned tents, the destroyed food supplies, and the orphaned children are witnesses to the cruelty of war. These attacks are not only a human tragedy but a desperate cry that requires your compassion and intervention. Pray for these lost souls, offer your support, and be light in this dark world. Furthermore, in the United States, former President Donald Trump is facing serious judicial charges. His figure has divided the nation and the world, provoking endless tensions and controversies. These events are signs of the times and a warning for all of us. The actions of powerful men not only affect their lives but have repercussions on all humanity. I invite you to deeply reflect on these events and to seek the truth in prayer and contemplation. The conflict between Israel and Palestine has seen an increase in violence in recent months, with indiscriminate attacks affecting innocent civilians. The images of wounded children and desperate families must awaken our consciences. This conflict is not only a political issue but a spiritual battle between the forces of good and evil. Pray, my children, that the Lord may bring peace and reconciliation to this troubled land. Donald Trump, the former President of the United States, is involved in a series of judicial problems that have shaken the country and the world. The charges against him are serious and have elicited mixed reactions among the population. Some see him as a strong and resolute leader, others consider him a controversial and divisive figure. In these uncertain times, I invite you not to judge but to pray that divine justice prevails and the truth comes to light. Dear children, let's reflect together on what is happening in our world. What is the role of each of us in these events? How can we contribute to peace and justice? I invite you to share your thoughts and discuss them in the comments below. This space is a place of reflection and unity, where we can grow together in faith and understanding. Beloved children, the power of prayer should never be underestimated. In times of great tribulation, it is through prayer that we find comfort, guidance, and strength. 
Prayer is an act of faith that connects us with the divine, allows us to open our hearts, and receive the grace needed to face difficulties. In the context of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, I urge you to pray for peace. Peace is not only the absence of war but a condition of harmony, justice, and love among all peoples. Pray that the leaders of both sides may find the courage and wisdom to negotiate an agreement that ends violence and brings a lasting and just solution. The images of wounded children, desperate families, and devastated cities must awaken in us a deep compassion. We cannot remain indifferent to such suffering. Our prayer must be accompanied by concrete actions of solidarity and support. We can donate humanitarian aid, support organizations working for peace and justice, and raise awareness in our communities about the importance of reconciliation. Regarding Donald Trump's judicial problems, it is essential to remember that human justice is imperfect. But divine justice is infallible. The charges against the former president have polarized public opinion, creating deep divisions in society. Some see him as a persecuted martyr, others as a leader who must answer for his actions. In these moments, our responsibility is to pray for truth and justice. We must not allow our faith to be overshadowed by the emotions of the moment. Prayer helps us maintain a divine perspective, seek God's will, and let his justice prevail. History is full of examples of leaders who have faced challenges and controversies. Our faith teaches us that God has a plan for each of us and that every event, no matter how difficult it may seem, can lead to a greater good if faced with faith and humility. So, let's pray that the truth emerges and that every individual involved may find the path to repentance and redemption. Dear children, I invite you to reflect on how we can be instruments of peace and justice in our daily lives. Prayer and reflection are powerful tools that help us understand our role in the world and how we can contribute to a better future. How can we, in our daily lives, promote peace and justice? Perhaps we can start with small things, treating others with kindness and respect, listening to and understanding other people's points of view, and acting with integrity and honesty. Every small gesture of love and compassion has a positive impact and can contribute to building a more just and peaceful world. I encourage you to share your reflections and experiences in the comments. Talk about how prayer has influenced your lives, how you have found strength and comfort in difficult times, and how you have made a difference in the lives of others. Together, we can grow in faith and understanding, supporting each other on our spiritual journeys. Dear children, the world is going through a period of great changes and challenges. But remember, we are not alone. Our Heavenly Mother watches over us and guides us with her love and wisdom. Prayer is our refuge, our strength, and our guide. Pray with faith, act with compassion. And always seek the truth. May the peace of the Lord fill your hearts and guide you in the days to come. Continue to pray and keep your faith alive. Together we can overcome any difficulty and find the path to salvation. Until the next meeting, may the divinity bless you and grant you strength in your transcendental journey. If you want to see more stories of faith like this, write below in the comments. See you soon. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Holy Spirit that we may be renewed and experience the transformation of the earth. O God, who by the light of your Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, Grant us true wisdom and the eternal joy of your consolations, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. If this message has touched your hearts, 
I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more messages of hope and divine guidance. Activate the bell so you don't miss any of our publications. Your participation and support are essential to spreading the word of the Lord. May the peace of the Lord fill your hearts and guide you in the days to come. Continue to pray and keep your faith alive. Together we can overcome any difficulty and find the path to salvation. Until the next meeting, may the divinity bless you and grant you strength in your transcendental journey. If you want to see more stories of faith like this, write below in the comments. See you soon.